Hello and welcome to my 18th Python tutorial. This tutorial, we have pretty much covered most of the basic concepts of Python in tutorials 1 through 17. All the things I'm sure there are plenty of things that I didn't cover, but you probably have a basic understanding of Python now. Um, in my 10th tutorial, I introduced that little, uh, tic-tac-toe game. Uh, and it was a little spoiler. But now, I believe, you guys are good enough at Python to be able to understand it. Alright. Let's look at this. First, we import the random module. We know what the random module is. Um, and yeah, we, we do know what it is. Uh, we define draw the board, and um, the board I'm pretty sure is defined down here yeah the board is 10 empty spaces strings times 10 when we string index remember from a previous tutorial don't know the exact number um strings like lists ha can be indexed so that um we have 10 instead of 9 so that um the first box right here box seven or box one whatever isn't uh, uh, box zero although that could be easily avoided by um, doing whatever minus one or plus one whatever but that doesn't really matter this is pretty self-explanatory how the board is drawn it's as key art um, Uh, I forget what that stands for. Anyway, um, this is just uh, printed with a little trial and error, and you can get that. This function gets which uh, letter the player is. So we don't know what the letter is, and um, so it's just blank. Um, here is the correct use of the not operator. Um, while the letter's not X or the letter's not O, then um, it prints, do you want to be X or O? And um, letter input dot upper, remember that upper makes it all uppercase so that. Um, no matter what, you don't have to do X or capital X again and again. If letter is equal to X, then return X and O. Just print that on the screen and O and X. Who goes first? This is um, a random integer between 0 and 1. Um, and if it equals zero, then it's the computer's turn. Otherwise, it's the player's turn. So, um, the player has a good chance of going first. Um, do we want to play again? And asks yes or no. And then, um, return the input, um, dot lower starts with y uh starts with is a string method i forgot to cover and um so if you type in yeah um yup uh it's all going to amount to being yes um otherwise it just exits uh the main loop that's all the way down there Doot, doot, doot. Make move. Remember the board 
um, one through ten, um, the letter X or O, and the move where we are going. So board move equals letter. Um, this is just saying that in the string board, um, the move one through um, ten. So if it's one, and then now that empty string, that empty the uh, space, sorry, is now an X. This checks if it's um if it's in a, a winner um bow and lay just short because um board and length take quite a while to write for all of this redundant stuff then this creates the board again it just um keeps adding it creates the board again when we need to use it again this checks if the space is free um this will return true if the past move is free on the past board so it's going to check um true or false if it's true then the it, uh, the X can go there, otherwise it's going to display a message saying that's taken. This gets the move. Don't know what the move is yet. Um, while the move is not in um, 1, 2, 3, blah, all the way to 9. Um, this is just saying while... Um, if it's not in one or um between one and nine um or not or the space isn't free it's going to print this message uh you messed up and then it's going to ask it again and return int move and moves list uh this is the opposite um It uh, returns a valid move from the past list in the past board. Just saying that. <clears throat> Ooh, I need water. Returns a valid move from the past list on the past board. So it checks if there's a valid move and um, space is free, board, and I. Then it adds it. If the length of possible moves is not equal to zero, return um, random choice of the possible moves. Otherwise, return nothing. Get computer move. This is pretty much the same thing as get player move, except for the computer. But this is a little AI. We need to make sure that there is an open move um, and if we can win so we get get the board um, if a space is free um, then that make move function that is doo -doo 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 -doo. Where is that defined? Hmm. Where did that come from? Alright. The copy of the board, computer letter, and the I. If it's a winner, then return I. So it'll just say O is the winner or X is the winner, depending uh, who's who. This tries to, uh, makes an attempt to block, and, um, front iron range 10, checks if a player can, uh, win, try to take one of the corners, 
um, what this tries to do is it goes through all the corner moves and see because corners are generally the best in tic-tac-toe and then um next it's going to try to uh take the center because uh that's the next best move to a corner and then finally it's going to have to move to one of the sides which is generally one of the best i mean sorry one of the worst moves and then this checks if the board is full um return false otherwise return true this is the main body of the function this is where the game is actually played get the board we get the player letter and the computer letter um turn who goes first remember that does the random int um print uh whoever will go first the game is playing is true while game is playing infinite loop um uh, if the turn is equal to the player, it's the player's turn now. We give the player the board. We make um, a move is equal to get the player's move and the board. Make move, the board, player letter, and move. Um, this will draw it out on the board, making whatever letter it is, uh, whatnot. Um, if is winner the board, um, this checks if the, if you have won, it, uh, creates the board and say, uh, yeah, you've won, and now the game has stopped playing, otherwise, um, is the board full the board draw the board the game is a tie because the whole board is filled up and it exits the loop otherwise the turn is the computers now this is the computers um turn and you could optionally optionally take this out and um replace it with the player or player two and um just have a two-player game that would be pretty cool um we get the computers move the board letters all predefined functions make the move um check if it's a winner and then say you lost ha 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 um check if the board's full it's a tie otherwise it's a play it's the player's move if the game is not play again, then we break. And it exits the loop, and we have quit. Now, after seeing this pretty big function, let's play it out. Run, run module. I will be X. What's my next move? I will go in the bottom left oh no it's gonna be a tie oh no the computer won yes i do actually i can type yeah but it'll go again no i lost again hmm oh well i'm terrible at tic-tac-toe Let's play it again. I'm gonna beat the computer this time. Ready? Oops. Then, boom, boom, I win. That should be it for my Python tutorial series. Uh, next, I'll do basic to algorithm design and Pygame for making graphical user interfaces. 
and games. Sounds fun. Will be. See you in my later tutorials.